Hello friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And I'm here today to talk more about vacuum sealing because I've been getting a lot of questions from people who are new to food preservation that are asking questions like, can I vacuum seal juice? Can I vacuum seal fresh cut fruits and vegetables? into jars and then put them up on the shelf. Now for some of us that have been doing this for a while you may find those questions a little odd but one thing you have to consider is when we see things like shelf stable milk that's in boxes that we can put on a shelf and leave for a couple of years. I've bought olives even, black olives, in a bag from Costco. When we see this stuff it makes us think, oh well I should be able to, if I can vacuum seal this stuff, I should be able to vacuum seal some fresh carrots and beans and uh, juice and stick it on a shelf. Well I'm sorry but it's not the same thing. When it comes to carrots and green beans, any kind of fresh fruits or vegetables, even herbs, the best way to preserve those are either to dehydrate them and then vacuum seal, like I've done with this zucchini. I, this zucchini goes back to 2018 and it's vacuum sealed in this jar and it is still good, but it was dehydrated first. Or you can freeze it or you can can it. Those are going to be your best methods when it comes to preserving fresh fruits, vegetables, herbs, and juice. Juice, like the grape juice here from our own grapes, this is back to 2017, this was canned. I have apple juice from last year that I froze. You can't just vacuum seal and set it on a shelf and expect it to last. Now you can vacuum seal it and stick it in your fridge and maybe it will keep it fresh for a longer period of time, but even in there it's not going to last. One thing I need to say too when coming back to the juice, I absolutely do not recommend vacuum sealing your juice and then freezing it. That could very likely cause your jars to break. I have a video about how I freeze things like liquids, milk, juice, whatever into jars and how I do it in such a way that I'm not going to break my jars. And so I'll link to that video down below in the description box. Don't forget to click on either show more which would be down here right below my channel name or this little gray triangle. If you're on some kind of smart device that will be right over here. You click on either one of those. It opens up the description box to see all the information I put in there. So that video I'll put down below so you can see the steps that I follow when it comes to freezing such things into mason jars. Coming back to the things that you can vacuum seal and then put on a shelf, some people are still in question. Things like vanilla beans. These are soft, right? So they see they have moisture in them. Things like apricots. Here's some that I just vacuum sealed up. Some figs that I did uh, back in February. Some pecans. These are from March 2020, but I have, I have other nuts vacuum sealed into jars that go back even further. Obviously, I've got herbs like some plantain right here chocolate chips and calendula and this is just a fraction of the things that I have vacuum sealed up into jars. Those chocolate chips by the way go back to 2014 and I have a video just about preserving chocolate chips for years to come so you can stick them up on your shelf and keep them as fresh as you can. They're still going to age over time but they're not going to spoil. Yes, you can vacuum seal fruits, dried fruits, even if they're still pliable, into jars. It's the herbs that you have to be a little more careful of making sure that they're fully dry before you vacuum seal. However, I have not had any issues. I've been doing this for years. And honestly, I'm just going to say this right up front. I don't go by what the USDA says. You know, I don't trust or follow government entities to give me the information I need to know for preserving foods. Mostly I just experiment and I just do things and I see how it goes. There are other places you can go that are not government controlled entities that you can check into if you're curious and you want to know a little bit more. But just keep in mind there's a lot of fear mongering out there about preserving your own foods. And people have been doing it for hundreds of years without any kind of government assistance or control telling them how they should or shouldn't do it. People have been drying things and putting them up without even vacuum sealing into any kind of container. Now think about this, when you buy your dried apricots 
or your figs or anything else from the store, what are they usually packaged in? Now, beef jerky, there's another one. They're packaged usually in plastic bags and hardly any of them are ever vacuum sealed into those plastic bags. So if that's okay to do, then why would vacuum sealing into jars be a taboo thing? So one thing about vacuum sealing into a jar, getting it out of the plastic bag and putting it in there, one thing is that you're getting it out of the plastic and then two, once you've opened a plastic bag, let's like say it's a big bag of raisins or the apricots or whatever. And yes, I do. I didn't bring a jar of raisins in here, but I've been vacuum sealing raisins into jars for years. Is the vacuum sealing it keeps those things in there moist. Same thing goes with your dehydrated stuff. If I didn't vacuum seal this, all this would get stale. So it can either go stale if it's like a really dry thing, like freeze dried stuff, it can get stale and chewy. And then if it's something that's chewy uh, and soft, then it can get dried out and hard if you don't vacuum seal it when you go to put it on your shelf. Now, I'm not going to say I'm the end all and know all of all this stuff. I'm going mostly by my own experience. If you want to check into the various things for your own self, I realize going from link to link to link about preser food preservation, you're going to find as many opinions out there about such thing as you will about politics. So, and sometimes I swear some of these arguments do become political. Like, how should you care for your cast iron can almost cause fist fights for crying out loud. But seriously, people like me can share with you what we do, our experience and our opinions, but it's really gotta be up to you to do your own research, do your own trials and see. Always start, if you're unsure, start with something small. Now you can do something like take little quarter pint jars like I have here and just drop a couple of things in there that you're curious about vacuum seal it up, set it up on a shelf somewhere and forget about it for a while and then check it. And you know, that could be one way that you can experiment that will make you less likely to, uh, to lose a whole bunch if you did it wrong. For example, one thing I discovered about vacuum sealing different kinds of nuts into jars, most of them will last Yes, they're high in fat, but most of them, I have not had any issue with them going rancid or even stale by keeping them vacuum sealed into jars. And I've had some that went clear back to 2014. Brazil nuts were the only ones I've had a problem with so far that started to go rancid in the jar that I had them vacuum sealed in for quite a while. So with Brazil nuts, I do actually put them in the jars. Some things you can vacuum seal and then freeze, but usually they'll still lose that seal anyway, so it's really kind of a waste of your time and energy to, to vacuum seal. Just put it in the jar and freeze it, and then when I'm ready to start working on a new jar of Brazil nuts, I just pull it out and let it get up to room temperature. So I learned by experience that Brazil nuts are one of those things that do not have as long a shelf life as pecans and almonds, almonds especially, whether they be sliced or whole, can last for years and years vacuum sealed into a jar. And so you can get them out of the bags, which are not gonna last near as long in those bags that they come in, as they will vacuum sealed into jars. So there's a lot of misconceptions about that because a lot of people think if something is flexible or if something is high in fat like certain meats. I've talked before when I did like the ground beef video and some other ones with the dried ground beef that I have uh, put into jars, vacuum sealed into jars and sitting on a shelf. And I have elk jerky and beef jerky that's been vacuum sealed into jars for clear back to 2014 and 2015 and they're still good as long as those jars hold their seal and some of that yes still has the fat in it and they're still good and the the hamburger the ground beef that i forgot to rinse out really well the first time haven't had any issues with spoilage or it going rancid being vacuum sealed and sitting for months back in my pantry just because someone over here says oh you shouldn't and someone over here says oh you should doesn't mean you should take one word or the other and just run with it it means kind of keep listening to different people's experiences look into the facts for yourself and don't whatever you do don't just trust i'm not saying the government websites don't have some good information 
but most of the time they seem to have a lot of fear mongering that tries it's almost as if they're intentionally trying to scare people away from preserving their own foods and again let us not forget that people have been preserving their own foods long before pressure canners were even invented and one more thing I want to point you to is a video I did maybe almost a year ago that I will link to down below and that's where I talk about canning versus vacuum seal sealing it was mostly just those two I wasn't talking about freezing and all that because there's just so many different ways to preserve foods it was more the differences which is kind of what I'm talking about here between vacuum sealing and canning, but also about botulism and kind of getting to know the facts about botulism and, and why you shouldn't be so afraid of it. So I recommend you go check out that video, which I will go ahead and link to in the description box down below. But I wanted to get this out right away because with all the new people coming into preserving, wanting to know if they can take fresh fruits and vegetables and chop them up, put them in a jar and vacuum seal, like using the chamber like I have back here, or the food saver tops or whatever it is they're vacuum sealing. No, you can't just do that and then set it on a shelf. It's not going to work that way. It has to be either pressure canned or water bath canned. Okay, well, I hope you found this video helpful and I answered a couple of questions. Please don't forget to check out those videos I'll be linking to down below. All right, well, thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.